This episode of the Brutal View Podcast is brought to you by Alternative Original Clothing. AlternativeOriginal.com, selling accessories, streetwear, everyday clothing, and art. Alternative Original handpicks street styles, and their clothing outlet ships unique clothing from all over the world. This is extremely comfortable and high-end clothing. Again, visit AlternativeOriginal.com. Welcome back to the Brutal View. Welcome back, welcome back. It's good to be back. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. It's appreciated. Yeah. For sure. If you noticed, uh, Eric looks different this week. Nah, it's Ruben. Eric got a little ethnic. Yeah. It's Ruben. And I'm John. This is the Brutal View, episode 35. We are officially sponsored by Alternative Original Clothing. A discount code will be out within a few weeks. We will promote the fuck out of it again when it does. Sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com slash Podcast. Call the podcast, 902, let me try that again, 603-902-4474. I think I still got that wrong. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Email yeah. brutalview at gmail.com. Send us some funny shit. Yeah. You want kids? Damn, you sounded like that. <laughs> oh shit! All right, dude, that's a fucking that's a loaded question. question. That's a heavy question for me specific. It's a heavy question. Um, the cur- the answer is yes. Yeah. As of now, yes. It wasn't always that way. What about you? I, I actually am on the same boat. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it sounds fucked up the way I put it, but. I want a kid because I want to, like, train a kid Mm. to be, like, the smartest motherfucker possible against everything of, like, the new world Mm -hmm. and, like, how to adapt to it and shit and just, I don't know, flood all my knowledge into. Why did that sound weird to me? Well, I mean, (laughs) it sounds strange, right? You know what it is? It's detached. It sounds a little detached. That's probably it. When people have kids, they're like, oh, it's always been my dream. I want a big family. And you're just like, I want to train a kid. I want (laughs) to be like, he's going to be a superstar. I just want a soldier. (laughs) I mean, that's what that's what um, uh, LeVar Ball did with all his fucking kids. Now they're all NBA superstars. So um, I mean, it's kind of a good thing to do then. right? Yeah, I think I think that's very natural because I feel the same way. Um, I don't think that's something that will stay after you have kids. Definitely sure that'll not. Change. Yeah. You know, when, not if, right? When. Yeah. I do want, like, kids. I do actually, like, want mm. a family. But I just don't see myself, like, going back with a, a lady anytime soon. But that'll obviously change, you know? I'll yeah, yeah, time. right. I'll just give it time. Yeah, know? yeah. I'm cool right now. Mm-hmm. Um, how many kids do you want? That's also a big question. <laughs> so, like, I grew up, I'm the oldest of five. Okay. And I have kids on my mom's side. I have kids on my dad's side because they split up. Or my, rather, I should say I have little brothers because they're not my kids. But um, I don't want a huge family because I know what it is to be in a big family and be kind of ignored and feel like you're not listened to. So, right. I think for me, it's two. I think that that's my max. I would love to have a boy than a girl. But obviously, like, who knows? Um, and that is actually brings out one of my biggest fears and man i'm gonna sound insensitive but when you have a kid there's a chance that that kid just won't be able you know something will go wrong right you know there's a, always that chance so many things that can go wrong yeah you know yeah so considering all the things that could go wrong it makes that chance bigger because it's not yeah. just a chance of one thing it's yeah. a chance of of like maybe, a million yeah yeah like it's it's a lot I this is like humble brag, weird thing to brag about, but like yeah. I have I have good genetics, which is weird because like that does sound strange. It is a strange thing to say. Good genetics, bitch. All the people on my father's side of the family healthy as an ox. Like we don't have issues. That's dope. High blood pressure, a little bit, a diabetes, just because they eat like shit. Yeah. And I, I feel that. I feel like everyone has diabetes. Everyone's like that. But <laughs> no, dude, my grandfather, he's in, let me tell you, he's in fucking Puerto Rico. He's, 
he's cultivating coffee and he's like 86 oh, and he's wow. out there tilling the fields every day good for him yeah savage fucking savage dude damn 86 imagine that he's kicking dude yeah i can't you no. think you're gonna be kicking at 86 another heavy question <laughs> well that's too you're fucking hitting me with it dude yeah. i mean i want to be a able body and mind for as long as i can but once i hit that point where one of them drops off I don't know. I feel like the quality of life is going to go down, man. So what if you like? Yeah. What if you get to that age, and you're there completely mentally, mm. but you just have to be pushed around in a wheelchair, or you can push yourself in a wheelchair? That's tough. See, that's what I will be able. I, I'll accept that. I think I will too. I'll accept that. Yeah. The one thing is, if I'm not of sound mind, because my grandfather on my mother's side, which he actually isn't related to me in a weird way, but whatever. <laughs> So, but he has Alzheimer's and it's the saddest yeah, thing, dude. It's so sad. Because he's just not the person he used to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Big fear. Big fear. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. I'm petrified of Alzheimer's specifically. That fucking triggered me. I'm going to eat a gummy bear. So. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. I gummy bear, bear that the fucking delivery guy just dropped mm-hmm. off. You really mm-hmm. think that pizza places, like, what, they throw in little snacks like that? Because just because of this, you'll be like, oh, that's like. That was a good place. Even if the pizza wasn't great, you're like, oh, I got the, I got the candy though. It yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, so like, I'll, I'll order from there again. So it makes a difference. Out of a hundred times, it'll make one or two. I feel like I have seen some places give like a cookie. Now that mm-hmm. I'm thinking about it, just mm-hmm. like a little, one little cookie. That mm-hmm. is kind of nice. That's kind of smart. But I agree. four of them is. That weird. was overkill. Yeah, yeah. So and the guy like acted like it was like a hundred percent normal. Like he looked at me weird when I questioned him. He's like, you "Just take the fucking he's like, candy." Dude, they're gummy bears. I'm like, "You gave me four little like what is this?" John John got some pizza earlier and um, it came with candy. And he was like, "What the fuck?" Four little like dressing containers filled with gummy. That bears. says a lot. That says a lot. Like someone hands four you gummy bears. That that says a lot about you, bro. Because someone hands you gummy bears and your first thought is like, "What the fuck is in these?" Yeah, like well, what's what what's your problem, dude? What does he want in return? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't, I don't like, trust people. You know, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't give people the benefit of the doubt as much as I should. I, I guess hmm. that's that's what I should say. Hmm. It's not really trust. It's more. Yeah, you could be up to something weird. And yeah, I, I do that with like everyone. <laughs> yeah, so I I feel that. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, a bunch do you of give people, people benefit of the doubt? Yes. Yeah? Like, yes. more often than not, I should say. You're innocent until proven guilty, in my mind. Okay, that's good. But, but, and dude, I'm I'm a really nice person, but if you wrong me or do something wrong around me, you're you're done. Like, you're dead to me. I don't... One and done? Uh, one and done, dude. Yeah. So if people are, like, disrespectful and just do something I don't agree with, I'm like, okay, that's it. Like, we just don't have a relationship. And that's fine. Oh, it, yeah. It doesn't have to be emotional. It doesn't have to be loud. But yeah. You need to do that. You need to know when to do that. Like, yeah. Especially. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough to do the older you get. I, I, I think it's the opposite, man. I think it's a lot easier to do now. Well, I think because yeah. I feel like friends you know just naturally die out the older you get. Like, yeah. the circle just gets smaller. Yeah. So the ones that you do have to have that conversation with are usually kind of the closer ones. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. The circle does go smaller, but for the better. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not always always for the better, right? Oh, fuck them niggas. Who cares? Who do you think would win in a fight? <laughs> oh, okay. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Strong. Or Kimbo Slice. Rest in peace. Oh, rest in peace. Um, Dwayne, big time. Kimbo Slice, dude. Monster. Don't get me wrong. but I don't know, though, because hasn't Dwayne had like SWAT training for like movies? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dwayne, it, like, Dwayne has he been... He can actually fight. <laughs> he's been huge. He's been skinny. I feel like if you give a guy two, three weeks, like he'll, he'll mess you up for but, sure. Yeah. If he doesn't already know how to fight. I don't know. I, I think I might Dwayne. go with Kimbo Slice, though, really? strictly on experience. Mm. Because Dwayne has... Ob- he's been in a shit ton of fights that have all been screenplayed from wrestling to movie scenes. Yeah, you get hit, True. you get roughed up, True. but I feel like when someone's actually trying to knock you out, it's a little different. I don't know how he would react in that. And Kimbo no. Slice just lets people, you know what I mean? Let mm-hmm. He let people punch him in the jaw. He's a know. fucking monster. Is this boxing? Are we boxing or what? I guess. Yeah. yeah. If, if there are rules, I, I, I can see Kimbo winning, but I don't know. My man, The Rock... That's true. A rock. If it's the like rock. strictly boxing, yeah. I think Kimbo would definitely do it. But if it mm. wasn't, if it's the street rock fighting, might fucking. <laughs> I think if he gets one if he tackles arm, him, dude, like, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap, dude. Yeah, 
Damn. Big time. No? You got one more? All right. Um, let's see. Which of these four things would you rather have as, like, a personal assistant? Would you mm-hmm. rather have a personal nanny? I guess that doesn't apply to us. A personal maid, mm. a personal chef, or mm. a personal shopper? Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Um, I'm I only probably have gonna, one. I'm going to go with maid. Maid? Big time. Because shopping shopping's kind of fun. You know, when you have the excitement, the anticipation of going to get the thing, getting the thing, oh, fuck, spending money, and then you're driving home like, I can't wait to use the thing. Right. Um, I don't really know if I want someone else shopping for me. Either. Yeah, I don't want someone shopping for me. Like, but how do you cleaning know what I me? want? Like, I just look at things yeah. when I'm there and be like, I kind of want that, mm-hmm. you know? Like, and I love to cook. So I, I do, too. Yeah, I don't want a personal chef. Yeah, I was I, thinking that, like, mm-hmm. a personal chef would be dope, but, but I love cooking. I love <laughs> cooking, so I'm cool with that. Damn. And if I get a maid that frees up my time, which... At wow. some point, hopefully. You just answered that for me. That's like a perfect... Like, I didn't think of that yeah. until you just said that. That's mm-hmm. exactly what I would say for mm-hmm. those exact reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad you agree. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Do you... Uh... Oh, I can't say those. Do you know why we can't say the Super Bowl? Trademark. What trademarked it? Uh, the NFL. So, like... I'm seeing like have you you seen the Your Mom's House episodes recently? That's, where they say the final game. You know what's Yo, hot? Fuck that Super Bowl. Yeah, Super yeah, Bowl, yeah. Super literally, Bowl. Bert like, doesn't give a shit. He's just hitting Super Bowl. But Tom and and um, I don't watch sports at all. But <laughs> I, like I don't like I'm not a football I, guy. I don't really watch you ask me either. what sport I watch, I'm just like tennis. Yeah, I like to watch tennis, but I'm not. I don't advertise that shit. Like I have a bumper <laughs> sticker. You're like, oh, I like Federer. Yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Um, but I'll watch the Your Mom's House. I think yeah. it's great. Best podcast there is. I think so much entertainment. I there. think that that podcast is better than Joe Rogan's. You know, I got into – everyone gets into podcasts through Joe Rogan. You know what I mean? He's a comedian. I got into a podcast through Joe Budden. Really? Joe yeah. Budden? Well, well I was just Joe's. a fan of his Joe's, music. And Joe when he came out with a, with a podcast like four or five years ago, I just yeah. started listening to it. But mm. – it got big again the past two or three years, so mm-hmm. I just started listening again and then branched off to all the others. Podcasts are blowing up. Yeah. It's a good time to be podcasting, bro. I don't know. Dude, there's a lot of competition now, and people already have fan bases with other shit and then just start a podcast, so it kind of makes less room for the rest of us. Let me ask you a question. When do you listen to a podcast? Like, What's your time? Like, When do you listen? Oh, a large chunk of my day is it like doing like when you're cooking when you're taking a shower when you're driving when i'm cooking at least half the time Mm -hmm. i agree i'm with you there almost all the time at work i shouldn't say that yeah i'll I'll, I'll say almost all the time at work (laughs) i I shouldn't say that fuck it i'll say it yeah well i listen to a lot of uh like classical at work too word but I actually, I'd say half and half, maybe. I, I don't mm. know. It's mostly working and um, probably like cooking, cleaning, doing like dumb shit where I can just have it on. Podcasting is really interesting because that is one of the only forms of entertainment which you have the choice of how to absorb it. Yeah. Because it's portable. And you can either just listen to it or listen and watch it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's really versatile or versatile, however you want to put it. Um but yeah, it's a damn good time, man. It is. <laughs> it's a damn good time. You know, you made me think about it. I actually play, I listen to podcasts like almost all the time when I'm all, playing Xbox. All the time. And yeah. I play Xbox a decent amount now. Wait, so. you game and you listen to podcasts? Yeah. Wow. So, God bless you, dude. I like turn, uh, so I'll just have like the sound effects of the game, you mm-hmm. know, probably like Call of Duty or, I was playing like Fallout and shit, but that got really confusing because like music and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I bet, like, I bet. yeah, yeah. But playing COD and shit, it's dope because like you just hear them, the cracking jokes. I'm laughing while screaming, you know. It's like, I cannot do that. I don't multitask like that, man. Like, I'll even be playing games and I'll put on some music and I won't even hear the music. My brain will not process the music. I'll just process you the, focus game. On the game. I just focus on the game. That's yeah. how it works. That's like kind of a hidden talent. Oh, maybe, I guess, It could dude. be, yeah. <laughs> because, guess. like, I don't know, you could have, like, re- you, I guess in a really tense gunfight type of situation, like in real life. Which we all know. just focus on something. It's very possible. Yes. I can be in a gunfight tomorrow. Yeah. Get in a duel, you know? Somebody try to fuck with me. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dude. What about the gun? That's a big dick energy right there, you know? Yeah. You got a gun. 
I don't know. We're good. We're good. If you were a, a professional sports mm. player of any, uh, what sport would you be a professional at? Damn, I man. Know, I don't know why it took me a minute to ask that. But. No, it's all good. It's all good. I think being an athlete is tough. Yeah. That's fucking, you're grinding, you're training. If I were to be a professional anything, I don't really know, man. I'd probably go okay. something with the team. Basketball, maybe? I would, I'll would. i say this as a two different questions. So basketball, Word. that's that question. Word. I'll say, what if you were just could appear as one right now? Like you just were living the life right now. Any any sport. Oh, then definitely basketball. Basketball? All the way because, just I mean. Instantly a basketball They get so NBA much love. Player right now. Yeah, they get so much love. You yeah. know? I say that as a 5'6". Bearded balding man, I, d- I don't think there's a market for that in the NBA. Do baseball players still get paid like 180 million for their contracts? That's what I'm saying. They NBA paid- is fucking killing it. NBA gets paid a good amount. NFL is also killing it. Yeah. Who the fuck watches baseball? But it's, they get paid 150 million, dude. <laughs> let's be real, man. If it's it's 2021, if you're watching baseball in 2021, everyone's won. It's fucking. Pretty- I feel like baseball is the sport. Even like I, I've, I've been to games with baseball, and I still don't really like them. It's almost antiquated. Well, you go for the experience, man. We we live in Boston, and I've been to Fenway. Have you been to Fenway? Yeah, it's dope. Well, that's like the one to be at, yeah. other than the one in New York. And still, I'm like, eh. I mean, it's a fucking yeah. baseball game. You know what I mean? That was more fun because of the drinks. That's what that was. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's just a bunch of people getting buzzed. Yeah, in the stands, fucking 40, 50 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, the one I would want to do is yeah. hockey. I, hockey's the sport I love. I played all sports for like five years in a row, but hockey, hockey? Really? was the ice hockey was ice? the sport I played wow. for nine years, and I fucking loved that sport, or eight years. I don't mm-hmm. remember anymore, but mm-hmm. God, that I miss that shit, dude. Uh, I that feel, shit was uh, amazing. I played tennis in high school, same here, and it was a good time, but I don't know. I was thinking about it today. I'm glad those those parts of my life are over. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I am too. I don't know where I'd be right now. Right. <laughs> like, uh, can you imagine yourself in high school right now? Yeah. Well, all, right, all right. Let me ask you a question off the, off the fucking rib, but if someone, if you're sleeping tonight, middle of the night, you wake up, there's a guy in a fucking black sweater. He's like, yo, bro, I'll send you back to freshman year of high school. Right now, you got all your memory. You're just going to head back. I have all my memory up to you got all your where memory. I am right you're now. You're still where you're at. Would you go back? And he's like, you're going to go back. So this conscious is just going into my younger body, right. basically. And his stipulation is he'll take five years off your life or some shit like that at the end of your life. You'll, you'll have five years left less than you would have normally. But you go back to freshman year of high school. No, I wouldn't do that at all. You wouldn't do it? No. Oh, I fucking do I it. I wouldn't do that at all. And you know, I'm not even going to do it for the right reasons. I'm getting some pussy, dude. Yeah. I'm going back to high school and I'm getting well, some thought pussy, dude. <laughs> okay. That's actually all the right. reason I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're going to have to It's uh, true. It's true. At 24 now, you'd have STDs, fucking kids well, running around. I mean, I've said it multiple times on this yeah. podcast, but I've only been in a few relationships and they were all very serious. Yeah. Same I'm here, pretty dude. sure when I went back, I, I would just land in one of them and try to f- do things different really? ways. Really? Is that and it what would you go, really, go for? Really? If, so I'm guessing if I oh, have shit. that memory, am I still going to be that horny fucking 14-year-old kid? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm probably going to try to do that. Yeah. So like... Knowing me, I feel like I'm going to... That's, that's exactly crazy. what I'm going to do. Wow. All right. I, I, I would have... I would not do that. I would not do that. I would want to like bet on like a game or I something. would probably meet my ex <laughs> and just like... You know, I'll be like, hey, what's up? And she'll be like, what the fuck? I don't even know you. I'll just be like, I know you're better than you think. But, <laughs> you know, and I'll be like, okay, see ya. You know what I mean? Before you even meet her? Yeah, she's yeah. Like, hey, how you doing? She's like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I'm just like, like, literally, she's like, what the fuck are you doing outside my house? I'm like, I know you. You yeah. know what I mean? She's like, what the you're fuck? You're like, you'll know. Yeah. I don't think that plays out well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a good know. look. I think the cops are coming. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think that's a good look. But no, I, I wouldn't do that, man. If I had a chance to go back, and you know what's funny is, I don't know why, but this has been in my head for the last couple of weeks, man. If I had the opportunity to go back, I would. And the only thing that would be different is I would be more confident. I think I'd make a couple different choices. Yeah. But I wouldn't change the fucking game. I wouldn't reinvent the wheel. I think I'm going to do still the same shit I would do normally, but I'll just be more com- confident with it. Yeah. Confidence is key, bro. I'm not going to lie. You know? You asked me this question and went back further, I might have said yes. Okay, that's why I'm not going back. I was too back. far gone. 
Oh, uh, by, by freshman year. Really? I was fucked wow. up, dude. Anal. Um, but the reason I'm not going back too far, and I guess it, it differs from person to person, is it'd be too enticing. Like, I'm not going to go back to being a baby. I think that no, yeah. you're way too powerful. Think, yeah. You're fucking way too powerful, man. Oh you'd be God. the smartest baby in the world. <laughs> People would be like, what the fuck? This baby is crazy. You just start speaking perfect English. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I chose my reset point as freshman year because... Dude, let me tell you, at fresh me, I just wasn't a person, bro. Yeah. Like, straight up, I look back, and I used to think, like, oh, I had personality. No. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> I think we got, like, older people here. But if you're under 18, if you're under 21, you don't know shit. Yeah. And I'm 24, and I don't know shit. Yeah. All right? You don't know anything yeah. about the world, about yourself. I feel like I know a lot more, though. Yes. At least, I mean, even then, like two years ago, dude. Like, I'm yeah. at the, I'm at like the best position I've ever been in in my life. Relative, right now. relative, relative, exactly. relative. Sorry, relative, relative. Thank which you. is so important. That That's is the very important. important. That's extremely because important. Because somebody, you'll be like, yo, I'm, I'm fucking killing it, and yeah. somebody else will be like, yo, you're a clown. Yeah, you know what I mean. And same thing to me too. So, and yeah. that I have I should that have specified. Right Thank you. No, no, you're good. I'm just being an asshole. Oh, no. I need to, yeah. <laughs> uh, I told you earlier, dude. I'm gonna. I'm just a fucking asshole, though, you know? No, no, it's good. Big asshole. <laughs> I think that's why my ex was into me as a little bit of an asshole. All right, but we don't got to go, go down that. We can. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of love, let's, let's bring it back because everyone, yeah. everyone has that love that hurts, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know if I can talk about this. Yeah, you don't have to, bro. It's all good. But... Why? Well, what's your question? Do you have something in mind? No, I don't. I mean, I'm just... Throw noodles at the wall. If they stick, they fucking stick. If they don't, that's okay. Yeah, I don't, you think, know, I'm, I don't think I'm going to bite on this one. That's I okay. I think I'm going to let them right. slide down the wall and just. All right, let me ask you here. a question. <laughs> Are you good? Currently? Yeah. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. I'm like literally mentally that's at important. the best I've ever been in my life, and it feels really mm -hmm. good. It doesn't matter how old you are or what your situation is. I think a big question to ask. Your friends and yourself is, are you good? Yeah. You know, in, in your mind, when you're, what what's really important is at one in the morning when you're laying in bed at night, can you sleep? Yeah. Can you sleep soundly? Right. And if the answer is yes, then good. If the answer is no, then it's a process. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to work on it. You got to work on it. It's you got to work on it. Yeah. It's definitely tough, but. Yeah. That's another thing I fucking love about the podcast. Like mm. me and Eric get to check in each other. Mm -hmm. Like each week like right. because of this shit right and we get the we get the opportunity to be like yo you like, you good everything yeah 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 most of that shit isn't even on mic like so no. yeah we no. can talk for a while off mic man mm -hmm. put all the shit off mic on mic that'd be a good show yeah right just have a fucking little camera walking around yeah i'm gonna uh, switch gears a little bit i mean what it should we hit politics at all I was going to say, do you feel, do you have anything Tired about of it. Biden being Tired officially of there? Uh, one thing I will say about politics, Lady Gaga has some fucking pipes on her, man. Oh, yeah. She can sing. And yeah. I already knew that, but goddamn, she was beautiful. Why and is I, that politics? <laughs> because it was at the inauguration. Okay. She yeah. sung the, um, the, the National Anthem. I forgot anthem. she did that. She did a great job. Yeah. She was so fucking good. She's an amazing singer. She's, she was an amazing she's talented. singer. She's crazy. And you know she's what talented. I liked about her? It's like her, her, her aesthetic is usually like all over the place but she i mean she didn't really tone it down she had a big fucking dress but she toned it down and you could see her as a person she toned it down relative she, relative to relative to her yeah. she had the mocking jay on her on her shirt like from the hunger games did she yeah i didn't even notice yeah yeah she had it on her chest i thought that was really interesting i was like okay yeah. that's a fucking so no i i mean if you want to talk about politics oh no i don't, I don't have an opinion man. i didn't know if you had like any two Dude, cents to throw in. everybody sucks yeah everybody sucks Oh, and that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, the Bernie meme. I love it. So good. I love it. So good. Let's keep that's these coming. Yes, Let's keep that's what that I wanted coming. to say. I love it. Keep it coming. Yeah. I want those mittens. In fact, I'm. That lady sold out. Did she? Yeah, she has a business, good and she's like, fucking her. she's like, my business is exploding. I hope she becomes a fucking millionaire. I do too. Because those mittens look fucking warm, bro. Oh my god. Bernie looks so funny. He <laughs> looked. He looks so good. Yeah. He I was, love the memes. Every like. I was. He, it was funny. I was watching the... Now we're getting fucking political. Kind of. I was watching the inauguration. I'm like, isn't it cold as fuck? Yeah, no, it's like, cold. I'm like, isn't it cold as shit? And yeah, everyone that's looks... that's not political. That's yeah. not political, but yeah. it's cold as fuck. And everyone's it's like... like so cold. They look dapper as shit. And yeah. I'm like, how are they doing that? And then I see Bernie. I'm like, oh, no. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's cold. I actually think I saw a picture of Lady Gaga's dress, and I was like, that actually doesn't surprise me because of no. how cold it was there. Yeah, like, exactly. It really looked that bad. I bet it was warm as fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Bernie looked warm. He looked comfortable. <laughs> he looked like, I'm ready to go yeah. home. And amen. And I say it's, that, and I'm home sometimes. Right. You know? Yeah. No, that was fuck. amazing. I couldn't I couldn't believe that. Um, I loved it, bro. Could switch to another gear. Uh, do you see Kim and Kanye breaking up? Oh, my God. I know. Do you have any feelings about it? Um, Most people say, I don't care. And I think I that's am, an easy answer. But I, Okay. If I'm being honest, and I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the pod, I, I don't like the Kardashians. I don't want to say hate because they've never done anything to me, but I really don't like them. Like at all. Unpopular opinion, right? I think most people agree with you. Everyone's like, I think I agree with you. Um. The Kardashians aren't beloved. Yeah. I mean, by a demographic, they are. Yeah. And that demographic was my ex. Um, she loved them. I never watched the Kardashians. I've only ever heard of it. But then my ex showed me, and I'm like, oh, this is just a fucking drama show. Um, I'm sad that they're getting divorced simply because I thought that they were both eccentrics, and I thought <laughs> it would work. I'm like, it, all right. You like, can't. it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Because having a normal, having, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say a normal person because no one's fucking normal, but a little more down to earth and then an eccentric. I feel like that doesn't work out, but they're both fucking crazy. I thought they were perfect for each other. Um, yeah. But I think it's Kanye. He needs to take his meds. Well, bro. I, uh, yeah. I don't know how the fuck they've lasted this long, to be honest. And I don't yeah. mean that to sound insensitive because yeah. I do think he might be going through some mental shit. Oh, big time. I feel bad for the guy. Yeah. And I hope he gets, gets help. I hope he gets right. But um, I saw this coming. I don't know. I didn't think that was going to last like. Or I thought something crazy was going to happen with Kanye. Mm. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And I just don't like the Kardashians at all. So, you know, I could care less. <laughs> right. Same here. And yeah. this is going to be like the big finale for them. But you know what it is, is I enjoy them both. And I like them together. And I thought they were nice. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to go in the finale. I don't know how they're going to advertise it, to be honest. So... I don't know how they're gonna advertise. When you say finale, finale, do you mean the finale of their show? Yeah, they're gonna have it. Ooh, this is what I was gonna fucking say, but I completely forgot. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I had to respond to it. No, you're good. You're text. good, dude. Mental illness. I I had a moment a couple of years ago where someone that I really really cared about in my life had a mental illness, and I just didn't know how to respond to that. Yeah. Right. And I had this moment where you're like, oh, I kind of get it. But unfortunately for me, I was too far gone at that point. Like, I had already done the wrong things. And, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to toot my own horn. I didn't do anything wrong. But you have to deal with mental illness in a certain way. Yeah. And I feel bad for him because yeah. mo you have to have that experience in order to deal with it on both um, ends. Could I interrupt you? Yeah. Is shoot. this about a specific person? Should I cut this out? This no, no, like... dude. You don't, my, I don't care. My life's an open book. Yeah, but do you think they're going to listen as well? I don't care. Okay. That's fine. All right. It's about. That, that's that's why I was saying it because I fine. was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I, I don't burn bridges. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. I don't burn bridges. Yeah, it is I'm really hard though. To. No one, else, no one ever really knows how to approach those situations, mm. especially when someone having is like, like I know a lot of people with bipolar or something. That's not on, an easy one to deal with. Something man. along the lines of mm -hmm. schizophrenia or bipolar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. and no, it's not easy at all. And my heart goes out to everybody that is, number one, dealing with a mental illness. Yeah. And the, the, their significant other that is assisting, assisting them right. in their mental, mental yeah. illness. And I hope if, it goes well. But If that's happening with Kanye and Kim, too. Like that's God, what it is. Like, I hope it's not like that. I think, I think from what I've heard and fucking, I mean, I don't even know the guy, right? I've never even met the guy. But if you're not taking your meds, man... I was going to put pressure on everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to drop another bomb, so... Uh, Fuck yeah. Do you want to take a break or anything? You good? I'm good, motherfucker. I'm good. What are your fears? I fear... Be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to hit you with it. Yeah, okay. yeah, you want a real answer? I'll give you a real answer. I was going to say, nothing but honesty up here. The brutal honesty. I'm cool with that, man. Yes. Because... <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't trust people. Yeah. So I have a fear of the what damage people could do if you let them close. I don't let people near me. I like... I just don't. And that's detached. And that's not a great thing. Something I'm working on, but... Yeah. I'm exactly the same way. I People... Dude, people can fucking hurt you, bro. Yeah. And I'm just like... 
I, I don't want to go through that. I'm afraid of heights. I don't fuck with heights. Um, Damn. But I like I like going up to high places. So far, we're two for two, kind of three for three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you feel me? I'm, I'm both both so far. I and love I like going places. up to high places. I love high places. It's like kind of a thrill. It's like a thrill. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going up the fucking subs. Like, this is fucking awesome. And then I look over and I'm like, uh, this is an awesome. Anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. You look down, you're just like. <laughs> Because I think about I think about jumping off yeah. every time. Yeah. Let me tell you, you like this picture moment. It. You're like, you're let like me tell you. Let me tell you a moment where I almost conquered my fear, and I'm glad I didn't. And I'm and this is a moment where you're like, I'm glad he didn't conquer his fear as well. So <laughs> I went to Bermuda a couple years ago, and oh the, when you're in Bermuda, you do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, yeah. The cops when you aren't... start a story like that, it's scary. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, oh, what the fuck happened? I went to Bermuda. Bermuda. I went to Bermuda. Ago. I was like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. No, but gorgeous country. Yeah. Country. Um, I don't even know if it's a country anymore. I think it's a territory, but it's beautiful. Yikes. It has beautiful culture. Unfortunately, it's been completely turned to tourism, which that's fine. As long as, but whatever. That's not what I want to talk. <laughs> Yeah. about um get political again. i went to a beach and there are no lifeguards and it's one of the most popular beaches in bermuda it's gorgeous it's massive it's beautiful and there's this big 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 like cliff and it's at least 50 feet 20 meters like it's high okay. right so there's no path up you're kind of just climbing up the rock and there are like dozens of people climbing up climbing down so we climb all the way to the top and when you get to the top there's a part where you could jump out into the water all the way down. Now, this oh, is God. unregulated. Yeah. So no one's measured the distance. No, no one one's knows. measured the fucking rocks. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Imagine you did it. <laughs> dude, so when I went there, I was like, wouldn't that be cool? And then some guy next to me was like, oh, I'm going to do it. And he he jumped off. Really? And he landed in the water. He was flying. fine. He, yeah. yeah, he just jumped off. And I was going to do it. And my mom grabbed me and she was like, don't do it. And I thought about it. I'm like, yo, if I jump off and just slip. Yeah. Like the tiniest bit. The ti- If I hesitate yeah. just a little. That's what I think about you, every single time. You're done, dude. Yeah. You're done. Have you seen the, like, the people with their fucking face split open? Yeah. That's <laughs> real shit. Yeah. And, I say, and I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody fucking recording. I ain't got nothing to prove in this bitch. I'm like, I'm climbing down the way I came up. Yeah, right. And <laughs> at first, I was a little fucking de- dejected. I was like, dude, that kind of sucks. Like, am I a pussy? I'm like, nah, I'm not a pussy. I just like my body the way it is, man. Yeah. You yeah. know? I'm sure, like, more than half the people that walk up that thing walk back down. Like, oh, mo- yeah. 95, 99. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm, How old were you when you. 19? D- okay, yeah. 19? So you weren't like a child. That's no, good. no, I yeah. wasn't a kid. Still scary as yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I put myself in... I have stories, bro. I put myself in situations. I force myself into situations just to see how they will go. Which sometimes is really fucking fun. And sometimes is really fucking stupid. Yeah, that you sounds know? like that could be interesting. I wander. All my friends know this. If we go someplace together, I'm walking away. Like You're going to be like, where the fuck? I'm gone. You'll see me in an hour. Yeah. I don't know. Didn't Snowing you go? Crack. You went to Goat's Talk, didn't you? I went to Goat's Talk. I feel like I only saw you twice. <laughs> oh, I was gone the whole time. Yeah, because I, I'm a wanderer. I move. I I don't know what it is. It's just like natural. My mom's the same way. Yeah. You know, I'm going where the energy's at. I feel like I used to do that, but I, I think the weed kind of slowed, slowed me down from doing that. Oh, man. What are you talking about? Weed? That's another big one. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, the weed. That's the only reason I smoke weed is to slow myself down. If exactly. I, dude, if I was going fast all the time, I, I don't even know. Maybe yeah. I'd be a, a, in a way better position than I am right now. But Yeah. Well, got, so people, I, yeah. I, know, I know you're kind of like this, too. People, yeah. and this is going to sound really weird or strange, but it's almost like a... So weed to a lot of people, it knocks them out. They don't like doing anything. They're lazy mm. as hell. But right. so a lot of people normally are just like kind of chilled out. So like mm. us normally mm. are on 110 all always. the time. We're always. always constantly thinking every scenario. It's like a hyper Dude. intelligence thing. So when you smoke, you're brought down to a normal person's <laughs> level. So when we're like lit, we're just like, okay, this is what normal people feel like. Amen, and bro. it does like, sound praise the Lord. like we're just saying we're smart as shit, but I don't and No, no, because I'm a fucking retard. Yeah. I'm the first one to say that. Maybe I'm not a retard, but I'm dumb as shit. All right? But or hypervigilant. Maybe that's a better word. Oh, for sure. That's Dude, the moment I wake up, I'm on. Yeah. I'm going. And yeah. I don't stop until I go to bed. So I feel you because 
Sometimes, all right, I take anxiety medication mm-hmm. simply because I need to slow myself down. Sometimes. Yeah, you have ADHD too, right? Um, I, undiagnosed. Yeah, uh, officially, same. officially. Like, but I, I had a therapist. He's like, yeah, you got. I was gonna say one yeah. of my urgent care fucking physicians. Yeah. I know the guy too. He's just yeah. like, yeah, dude, you have ADHD. I'm like, is that official? He's like, no, but but you do. He's like, come on, man. You I'm do, like, yeah, fuck you. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. While I'm at work, while I'm like, when I like solve. I did this all through college while I'm working mm. and I play like Beethoven and shit like that. Like I heard when I was really young that it helps you concentrate through things. Right. But right. my dad always used to play cause my dad's a fan of it. So okay. he used to play when I was young and I just kind of like liked it. And then I heard it in rap beats and that was the end of it. Like when I heard classical like turnovers and like piano and violins and rap, that was the end. But I got out of that phase. You're, you're a big. You love music. You're a music fan. You make yeah, music. I love music so much. Is that I your learned, favorite? I learned "Fear Release" by Beethoven on Already? the piano. Yeah. Oh I could shit. Play that shit right now. Fuck it's yeah. Fucking, I love it. But oh shit, yeah. That's another thing where like when I'm working and especially with numbers, dude. If I don't play that, so like I'll be doing shit and eventually it just clumps just keeps getting cluttered and cluttered when i put that music on it like tunes it in like a yeah. fine like i can fly through it so mm-hmm. fast like instead of being like a jumbled mess yeah. it's like it flows you know yeah i know what you mean man i'm the same way and i don't mean music. like right when i look at numbers like it's like after i'm working for like six hours then it all right. will start to get like just yeah. kind of helps you focus so then if i'm yeah i'm a jack of all trades i have my real estate license i'm licensed to sell to do real estate in massachusetts yeah um, but when I was taking my test, which is probably one of the hardest things I've done in my life, which is kind of crazy, um, which is it's a really hard test to pass. It took a million times. But when I took my test, I did just that. I was listening to classical music and studying for hours yeah. every single day. Yeah. Um, it helps you like helps. remember it. Like you retain it better. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It is. I agree. Yeah. I love that shit. I love how we were just like bigging ourselves up. People need to do that more often though. We never do that on what? this pod. Bigging ourselves up. What do you mean bigging? Hyping? Hyping ourselves okay. up. Like bigging? I, oh, okay. Did okay. I say it weird? Sorry. I, I mean, just, I didn't know what you up. meant. I was like, hmm? Yeah. But I feel you. I feel it. Kind of like hyping, yeah. You got it. You got to hype up your friends. Yeah. You got to hype up your boys, the people. And that's why it's important to me, at least, to have a small circle that you can manage. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you got to hype the people. You got to love the people around you. I yeah. tell my friends and their guys, I tell them all the time, I love you, bro. Because I just, I need them to know that. that yeah. They, that they, ca- they matter to me, you know? Yeah. 100%. Well... That was a nice fucking tangent we kind of went on. Mm-hmm. Domino's teamed up with Epics now, so you can order Domino's and then buy a streaming service. And it's like you like get like free pizza on occasions or free like movies with like the pizza and shit like that. Okay. That is a pretty fucking smart business idea. How yeah. long do you think until like places team up with Netflix? And like So like if you order something you get like a free week of Netflix. Either that or if you have a Netflix subscription, you get like, you get like these coupons. I don't, yeah, something you know, along those lines. I, I don't I, know exactly how they do it, but that's a great question, man. I'm not yeah. really sure. I don't know if that's gonna, ca- gonna catch on simply because it won't catch on for me. Like, I'm not going to open my streaming service and be like, oh, shit, I can get pizza a couple bucks off. That's going to motivate me. Uh, maybe it will for some people, but for me, I'm so, like... Okay, that's a better... That's a, You flipped it in my head. Mm-hmm. That's that's good now. Mm-hmm. What if you're on Netflix and you're going through it, but then in the upper right corner, it just pops down a little menu from something. You can just choose what you want. Order that's the food fucked. right there. That's fucked, And then just go dude. back to ordering what... That and then look is and watch your movie. fucked up, dude. That, nah, I'm not into... I don't think that's going to catch on. What? I don't think so. <laughs> That'd be nuts, dude. No, because, dude, that's so... <laughs> when you try to mix shit like that... It just it never works, man. When you try to make one thing do everything, it just doesn't work out. But say it's not like say it just like sends to your local Domino's, I guess. And it's just like if you want to order food, this will go to your local Domino's, and then you can put an order for food. But that's like a section, a different section of it. Man, you that's wouldn't fucked up. I'm trying to give it like some thought. No, I, I feel that. I thought this was kind of a unique idea, Domino's teaming up with a streaming service i like, think it's smart but i don't know it wouldn't new. get me it wouldn't grab me it wouldn't yeah. grab me Let me it's definitely it like that. new that's all i can say it wouldn't grab me we might see more of that in the next five years 
We might. <laughs> yeah, instead of that, we got some motherfucking climate change in this bitch. Yeah. But no, we don't want no one wants to talk about that. Which we're already fucked, by the way. Yeah. Do you know that? I was going to say that we're kind of on We're the... fucked. I mean, there's at this point, this stage in the game, there's no way to stop climate change. Yeah. We're not going to stop it. Well, I was going to say, we literally can't do it unless we, like, start wars. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, like... You know? Like, we can't shut down all the factories yeah. across the world. We can't, like... Mm-hmm. There's so much shit that we'd have to do that... It, no, it's impossible can't agree at on this it. point yeah we can't agree on it it's way too late to stop climate change so if you're fucking listening to this listen you got to get used to a warmer world that's yeah. just the way it's going to be i think the planet's going to go out in the next 500 maybe thousand years because of that oh i think well all right the the planet is versatile i think it's going to bounce back well, well i, I think, think it's going to be without I, us i'll say like Sorry, with few of us, humans, I think, will not last another five hundred or a thousand years. I think the planet will still be here. It's just going to be for hotter creatures and shit. The human race, the way we know it today, with like almost like eight billion now people on the planet, yeah, not maintainable. I don't think, I don't think we're ever going to be this big, and I hope we don't ever become this big again. Simply because it's just there's. No I feel like we need a, we need a bigger planet. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's a crazy thought to have, man, yeah, but. We're kind of like fucking parasites, man. Dude, we're going to find started. other planets. Even fucking started, but... we're, we're going to do some spaceship. We're going to find some places off this off No this way, planet. man. Yes, we're going to we fucking die on this rock, man. Nah. Well, Listen, we might. There's no we God. We might, yes. First of all. There's definitely not a God. There's I not agree a God. There. And if there's a <laughs> we God. We just lost half the fucking listeners. <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, okay, this guy's a fucking <laughs> asshole. I'm sorry. If, call the number. It's going to be on the screen right now. 603-922-4074. And bring it up. And, and bring up a counterpoint. But there's no God. And I'm sorry. And the reason I say that is because I can't go to bed at night thinking, listen, motherfucker, you're not going to heaven. Oh, what do you think? You're going to go up to a white palace and live for eternity? Yeah. You're going to get bored of that shit in a week. I'll be sitting around, dick in my hands, being like, what the fuck am I going to do next? Yeah. There's no weed. What am I going to do? That is something that fuck no book here. or anything has ever brought up. What if it gets really boring? Oh, it's like, going to get What boring. happens after the first time you go there? Like, is time not a concept anymore? You have to be <sighs> sitting there through it. Like, Dude, I've been thinking about death lately, man, which is a little morbid. That's but really morbid. It's really morbid. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, I do want to talk about it. What I've been thinking about is I get angry, bro. I get genuinely angry and upset when I think about the fact that one day I'm going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. And listen to me. bad thoughts, dude. I'm sorry if you're religious and you're listening to this right now, but death is probably going to be like before you were born. And do you remember that? No? That's what it's going to be like. You're pessimistic. I'm sorry. You are. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm a cup half full guy all the way. Are you? That sounds No, kinda... <laughs> 100%. But I'm telling you, man, when we die, it's going to be like before we were born. And before we were born was nothing. I think if you think about your death too much, though, you're not going to live your life. I agree. That's it. It's been it's been getting me a little angry. Yeah, lately, man. But... We, yeah, are you depressed? Do you want to like um do a little off mic fucking? <laughs> no, no, dude, on mic. On Who mic. Gives a shit? Yeah. Because depression cool. is real. It's a hundred percent real. It's really good. Yeah. I, I I was. I'm not. Um, where I'm at right now, I'm just grinding, man. Yeah. There's a lot of shit I gotta organize in my life because I've I've done a lot of band aid fixes and I won't go yeah. down the rabbit holes, but I've done a lot of like okay I'm just gonna band aid this today because I literally can't deal with it right now. Okay, you know what I mean. Yep. So I'm going through all those things and I'm doing a damn good job. Well, then I'm at that same point too. Then yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think that's yeah. That is kind of dark, yeah. When you say it like that, when you put it like that, it seems like we're kind of struggling with. But but we're not, and you know, it's just life. I don't know. It's like working through. It's important, dude. right? It's yeah. so important because so many people literally just give up and they just go yeah. like, "It's so easy to be that angry person. It's so easy to be that judgmental person." Unanal. I, I want to, yeah, unanal. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do want to jump back to this for a second. So you don't think. We're going to discover or at least have any habitable space life in our lifetimes? Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Without a doubt, no. That's just... When do you think it'll happen? Like, give me a ballpark. Like, a hundred years, you think? Yeah, within the next hundred. Okay. We were born in an interesting time, man. We were born at the dawn of the internet age. We were born before space was discovered, before, like, we went to the moon. And, like, the... The exploration exploration right now is in a really weird phase where we haven't gotten to those planets and we can just like fuck around. We're still sending robots and shit, you know. Um, so no, yeah, hundred years, hundred years. Easy. I have to disagree. Easy. I think. Well, are you saying so? If 
we're we're I'm 25, you're 24. Mm. Say we live another 80 years. That's 80 out of your 100 years. Oh, I don't want to live a fucking 105. Yeah, but like say Fuck. when All do you, right. so you think it'll be like in if we were to live to like 100, you think we might see something type Probably. of thing? Probably. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of. I'd say so. Just about around our lifetime, maybe a little older. I don't want to be 105. Who the oh yeah, fuck wants uh, to be I mean, Jesus, man? God, no one. It, dude, as long as I'm of sound body and mind, but that's not gonna happen at 105. I'm yeah. Gonna shit myself. I'm not gonna lie. I think it'll happen in the next 20 years. I think that'll be there will be someone on Mars, but the planets are not gonna be hospitable. And they're never going to be hospital. There's never going to be a colony on well, Mars. I don't think. I, I don't, don't think. think it's going to be planets. I think it's going to be ships. Oh, like a space station? Stations. Oh, that's going to be... Large stations. By the time we're 60, we're going to be vacationing in space. Yeah. I think they're going to make it, like, exactly. So yeah. big that it's going to be, yeah. like, a resort type They announced thing. that a couple years ago. I don't know who or yeah, what they were, or when, I, but I, I, I remember. remember seeing something like that. I don't know how real that by was. By the time we're 60, 70, there are going to be space resorts, which by that time, we're probably going to be way too old to go to anyways. Oh, my God. I'd love to try it. They're probably going to be like, oh, <laughs> you're like, like die. 20. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you're literally going to die, dude. So they're probably going to be like 20, 40. 40 and under, yeah. you know? Um, I don't think I'm ever going to make it there. I think it'd be fun to be in space, but who the fuck cares? If you got that option, if you got that phone call tomorrow, if they're like, you want to send you to fuck space. Fuck no. Suck my balls. Same here. I wouldn't do it either. Dude, it's fuck Eric you, dude. Eric said like he would in a heartbeat. Like, to Eric's go up full and, like, of shit, dude. To go up and like explore shit. Eric. I think you get paid, too, for like six or uh, 18 months, and you get paid handsomely. Um, Eric, motherfucker, I know you're listening to this. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you're not going to space, all right, dude? I don't think Eric's going to He's going to shit his pants. Yeah. He's going to say, he's going to rip respond and say yes he's gonna hang up and be like i just made the biggest mistake of 10 my life. million dollars fuck what are you gonna do with 10 million space i'm not gonna do it regardless of the money but i'm curious so is there any money that no we, okay I'm there they could you. say you will win the one billion dollar powerball million uh mega millions right now and i still will say no i think that comes Pass. back to us coming back to the fact though like what if something goes wrong that's like the only like i don't care enough to yeah. like yeah oh. Maybe if I really wanted to do something, but I could go up there, be bored, and something might happen, and I'm going to die. The fuck do you want to go to space for? Right. I mean, we got everything here, man. Yeah. I'm going to go up there, jerk off in space, ski, it lands on the fucking space shuttle, it breaks the radar, the guy's pissed, well, and then we come back home. Yeah. You know what I mean? That like, sums it up. The fuck am I going to do this? <laughs> They're going to be like, <laughs> why, why are we send this jackass to space? Right. I think we should That's probably better than half of the fucking space movies that have come out in the past two years. Oh, uh, dude. I hate those shits. Yeah, I, there's I, well, I liked Interstellar, but I think most Interstellar of them, was was good. I think the acting in those are actually good. The acting is always I, great. I feel like the story is always the same, but they're always just, so dramatic. Yeah. They, exactly. I think the best way to put a space, like, <laughs> they're always like like the heavy bass, like yeah. your fucking blood's I, pumping. Everything I every it's single much, time bro. though, it's like oh, an asteroid's coming. The weather is bad. Well, like this is like oh my god. Like yeah, change it up a little bit. I don't know every movie. Change it up. Let's yeah. try it some other way. Right. Oh, shit. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't think I would go to space for any reason. No, well, fuck that shit. I, th I don't even fuck know Fuck that shit. I, I don't know if I'd go if there was a planet that was habitable, to be honest. Dude, they, they would... They could say, listen, bro, we're going to send you to Mars. All right, there are going to be some bad bitches there. You got all the weed in the world, but you're not going to have internet because you're on Mars. And I'd be like, fuck you. I'm not going to fucking Mars. You can yeah. have everything there. I'm still, still not going to Mars. I don't know if... I feel like I know this planet. I know this life. I'm just going to ride it out from here. You it's, know? Not even, <laughs> like, it's not even that deep for me. It's like, I know I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to be like, yeah, I want a fucking... A steak and cheese. Yeah. I want a goddamn that's steak true. and cheese today. That? That's and so, what are you eating? You're eating fucking grass. I guess that's what you I mean. You know what I mean? I like know this already. I don't know what Mars <laughs> would be, so shit, I dude. wouldn't take that chance. No, I'm not going to fucking space, bro. Yeah. Not, not even under the ocean. I fucking... I love... All right, all right, so I've been watching a channel on YouTube, Nautilus. You know what the Nautilus is? I feel like I've heard of it, but... It's, it's no. literally like a fucking... I don't even know what to categorize it, but they send this vessel down in the fucking deep waters and they just record shit. I have seen that. Yeah. It's so cool, man. I, I think that was on it. TV, wasn't it? It's on. Yeah. So it was on TV. I was going to say. They have a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. But this one on YouTube, they do like live streams and they put up the clips when, and they're fucking live. Um, but I would never go underwater. 
Yeah. I don't like if I'm in the ocean, if I'm on a boat and they're like, yo, jump out first one, fuck you. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Fuck you. Dude. Not in the ocean. No, 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 no. I'm, not, actually, I'm weird about it in a lake. Even in a lake. Dude. Yeah, I'm so I'm like, freaky about it. What's 50 feet under me? I, I what's no five idea. feet under me? Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Something wraps around my foot. Oh, fuck it's just seaweed. Shit, I don't give a fuck. I'm stabbing it. Like, I, I'm like freaking out. I don't know. When I was a kid, I got sent to a fucking campground. And this brings me back a memory. I got sent to a campground. <laughs> and the first week, they're like, we're going to teach you how to swim. And I already knew how to swim so whatever but you know how they teach you how to swim they take this big ass boat they bring everybody in this big ass boat they all go all the way the fuck out to the middle of the lake and they stop the boat and they go get the fuck out and <laughs> swim back and i was so pissed i'm like oh you guys are gonna do that real stuff and they're like yeah we're gonna do it i was so like did you wait you did it I fucking did it bro oh, wow good for you and i'm swimming yeah. i'm swimming i saw like, this shit sucks just because i'm a fear. I don't like fish. You ask me what are my fears are. I don't fuck with fish. I think yeah. they're creepy. I think fish are creepy. Yeah. I will gut a fish, but I won't, I won't play with. The I fish. don't. I was gonna say I don't really like swimming with fish, but mm, no, I don't. I think shit. fish are kind of cool when they're like pets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know? But no, but I don't. I don't know if I'd yeah swimming around with them, mm-hmm. especially the big like uh, bass. Yeah, no, like no, that that's on you. You're like the fuck is no, that? bro. Fish are creepy. Yeah, they make me feel like creeped out. Uh, uh, jellyfish freak me out. I'll go back to this. Uh, I don't think I ever said my fears, and I, I think it. they've changed for. Well, they haven't changed too too much. Um, I used to have a pretty severe fear of sleep mm. and i don't remember what the exact name is but Damn. um i have like this weird disorder with one of my eyes and then with some part of my brain that replays something okay that i've lived but exaggerates it okay like dramatically so okay. it's like say like you have a memory of you walking to school mm-hmm. well then i'll dream of it it's that it's same place but i'm running and there's a murderer behind me with a chainsaw and he's holding like my mom's mom's head in his hand (laughs) like something really dark yeah so i was like oh um that kind of went away over the years okay it it got better and better um actually kind of went away with my last girlfriend (laughs) weird to say i might cut that out i don't know (laughs) you know what (laughs) you let go of the stress uh, probably that's probably what it was i i feel like sleeping with someone that consistently for it was a long relationship so I don't know. I like learned to just deal with it. I guess it, it went away. It wasn't stressful, and then it just never really came back. So that kind of went away. So no nightmares. Well, that's good. So I have a fear of needles. Okay. A fear of heights. Mm-hmm. And a well, fear of intimacy. Mm-hmm. Trust. Trust. It's like amen. It's that thing that's like once I'm in, I'm in full force, full throttle. Facts. Give it all my God. All I got. All my God. But. <laughs> did it. Um, yeah, I think that was it. That was the last one. Oh, I'm a little bit claustrophobic too. Really? I've, I've been in a uh, tight space once hmm. and I didn't realize I was claustrophobic and I was like. You were just so uncomfortable? I'm kind of having a panic attack. Yeah, I just started yeah. breathing wicked heavy. I'm like, this is fucking. I'm not claustrophobic at all, but I've had that same experience. Yeah. I went to go, I actually saw Tom Segura live a couple years ago, and That's my so buddy just invited me last minute to see Ball. You said it was Hampton, right? No, no, this was in Boston. Oh. This was in Boston. I thought someone said, okay. No, no, not me. It might have been someone else. Um, but no, in Boston, I saw him live, but I was really going to enjoy the show, and I went there, we were dressed up, and when I got there, it was like we were fucking sardines in a can. We were on top of each other. The seats were so fucking close. It was oh, yeah. worse than a movie theater. And they were like an easy couple thousand people in that like, auditorium. And I was like, this sucks. So I was having a panic attack. And I didn't even realize it until afterward because I'm like, I am so uncomfortable. And I just want to get out of here. Yeah. And it sucked, man. So I feel that. When you have a when you have a moment like that, that's what brings the fear. Because you're like, damn, I don't want to have that moment again. Yeah. So I feel you. Yeah. yeah. And then, right. Yo, you said something earlier, which I'm going to call back, and you probably don't didn't even pick up on it, but sleeping with somebody, hello, underrated, bro. I'm, I'm going to simp right now. I miss sleeping with somebody. Oh, yeah, I do, too. Big so man. that's one of the things I wanted to say earlier. I didn't want it to sound all oh, good and God. golly, but <laughs> uh, like I am at the best position that I've been in my life, yeah. but I miss having a girl. Like I don't know. 
I've been with a girl for pretty much my whole life, but it's nice to have. It's nice to trust somebody, man. Right. I don't know. It's nice. And especially when, dude, like, especially, I guess if you're the same as me, but I just don't trust anybody. And I was dating this girl a couple months ago, and I felt really bad because I subconsciously kept her. I sit farmed her. Yeah. So I'm like, oh no, we're close, we're close, like we're dating, don't worry. But the entire time I'm doing this. Yeah. Subconsciously. And I didn't really notice until afterward. And she dude, I got dumped. She was like, Listen, you know, She's I like, think you're great, but we can't this is not good for me. And I yeah. got it and I felt bad, but um Yeah. Nah, dude, it, it it's really easy to hurt somebody when you're like this. No, or, yeah, you know no, what I mean? yeah. We could we could talk about this all fucking night. Everybody has trust issues, man. Whether yeah. it's your parents, your brothers you know, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, school, yourself, there's always some level of it. And it's 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 hard to deal with, man, but you gotta go through it. Yeah. You gotta go through. I still don't think I'm I'm actually going like if some girl came up to me right now and tried to date me, I still probably wouldn't do it. But I do miss it. I miss yeah. it, but I probably wouldn't do it still. <laughs> no, I feel you. I'm it's... at a good point where I need to be alone for a while, little while longer and Figure, figure my own shit out, you know? We all go through that. Well, sure. I actually feel like I got it figured out, but I'm enjoying it, so I'm going to enjoy it more. Mm. For a little while, at least. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see um, the, they put out a, a list where they're going to release all the information about UFOs? Oh. 120 days. Oh. Um, We have like 70-something days left. Or eighty days left, something like They've that. They've done stuff like that before. Well, this is a this is actually an official document. Yeah, I wanted to pull it up, but I feel like I'm just gonna save that for the IG videos because we only have a few of them. Um, so that kind of stuff is because there's like some law in the United in the United States where after a certain period of time, any classified documents have to become declassified and available to the public. Right, which is really interesting. So we recently actually just got a bunch of documents like that a couple of years ago. Um, there's never anything in them. I don't. If there are aliens, they don't give a fuck about us, or they're way people, too far to matter. Right, way too far to matter. A lot of people so, agree with you. Yeah, I am, dude. I would love for there to be aliens. I think my dad would agree with you. When I did the st- the comedy, I, I made a joke about my dad, and he fucking loves aliens, but no, nah, man, I don't think Oh, yeah. Real. Wishful yeah. thinking. Wishful mm. thinking, man. I don't know. I, um, well, yeah, I guess that kind of answers my question. Mm. I, I heard a lot of people saying, like, well, it's just going to be the same information they've already released. It's just going to say, like, an extra few words. Yeah, big time. Which is dope. Yeah. But, like, just imagine it's, like, in this biokinetic material from planet something yeah, right. that we just discovered and it's fucking mo- morphing into a different mat- like what if it's just something crazy that'd be so cool that'd be dope as hell you know what and you know what man you know why that shit would be cool is because number one we could probably deal with it yeah probably probably if, if it were to go experiment wrong. on it we'd probably be okay Number two, that would prove that there's something out there. Yeah. We'd literally be like, okay, so the question not is, is not, is there other life? The question is now, how far is it? Yeah. Can we contact it? How did it land how here? How did it land here? Yeah. But the, I'm, I'm telling you, man, and it's the same thing as God. If aliens were announced tomorrow officially by the government, there would be a fucking uprising. Yeah. Because where do all those religious be a people war. go? Yeah. They, the, where, would the, where would they go? They'd be a the war. Muslims, they'd be like... Literally, the Christian people would be like, there aren't aliens. What the fuck is this all about? The Catholics would be the same. They'd be bullshit. Yeah. They'd be like, this is blasphemy. It's a message from God. The planet might blow up if aliens announce their souls. Just yeah. from, like, everyone killing each other. Like, yeah. there's no way. Like, you know what I mean? I, it'd be cool as shit, man. Uh, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. We're not that. We're a little fucking Damn, ants, when you put though. it like that, that sounds bad. Oh, dude. I guess we're, we are being pessimistic. This the episode. response. <laughs> but, <laughs> fuck, dude. Well, now we're going to talk about some good Dystopian shit. Dystopian The response to that, it just wouldn't be positive. Yeah. It just wouldn't be. No, and I agree 100%. I mm-hmm. think. I don't know. So I've, I've seen a lot of people saying that, like, all right, like, obviously they never want it to happen, but it'd be pretty cool to mm. live in a post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> I, I wouldn't really disagree with some things. <sighs> like, say, like, for, like, a week. Okay, not like say it's a game, I guess Mm -hmm. for a week you get to live in a post apocalyptic world where you hunt fucking other people and creature. I don't know. Like Mm -hmm. you just do whatever you you just got to survive. Yeah, you got to survive for a week. And then at the end or if you die, you come back to reality like you would do that, right? 
Yeah, um, if I come back, if like I'm, yeah, yeah, you come back. Well, I mean, that's I an guess it's just question. a hypothetical. I don't know. So I, I guess it really comes down to would I number one would I be able to survive in a post apocalyptic and would I enjoy it? Um, would I be able to survive? Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, because I'm so not, Would you want to though? Would you I, like? I don't know. No, you no, don't think it'd be no. like cool to just for All a little right. bit. Just for a week. I'm a leader, naturally, right? Okay. So, like, I go places, I run shit, which sometimes isn't good. Sometimes is really good. So, in a, po- in, a, in a post-apocalyptic world, I would not be satisfied being a follower. You could be the Hitler of fucking post-Earth. Listen, man, listen. Really unpopular opinion right here, but I'm going to hit you guys. Oh, I don't know that. if you should say this. Whether <laughs> <laughs> Hitler did nothing. No, I'm joking. <laughs> whether you're, he was right. <laughs> whether, and your definition of good and evil might be different, but whether you're good or whether you're evil, I almost don't care what you choose as long as you choose something and, and pursue it vehemently. You know, with with your body, with your soul, and be like, I want to accomplish this. Oh, because God. I know so many people. But are you correlating this to Hitler, though? Almost. Are you saying he was, like, so dedicated no, no. that you respect it? No. Okay. Like, no. he was passionate, and, like, he chose evil, and he went real far into that, evil? That's really evil. But what I'm saying is, kind like, of is what you're saying. if I had kids, let's say I have two kids, and one of the kids comes out really good, and he's a good kid. Okay. And one of the kids like comes this. out, he's just inherently evil. Yeah. He likes to hurt. He likes yeah. to see people be hurt. Yeah. He stabs the dog, fucking pulls L- hair and shit. Listen, like, as long as both of those kids did something and made themselves happy and pursued something, I'm happy with it. Right. Obviously, not to Hitler. I don't want a fucking Hitler and a Castro. But what I'm trying to say is, man, too many people in this fucking world just live through it yeah. they, um, I, maybe that's not a, wading through the water blind well yeah no blind, that's, that's a good way bro. to put it you know what i mean i mean some people will get that pick, i get what you're saying though <laughs> pick, a, pick a fucking yeah. direction dude. right right if it's good if you're gonna if you're gonna clean up the oceans great if you're yeah. gonna pollute the oceans and make trillions awesome i want to make some of that money too capitalism baby capitalism but you got to choose. Yeah. Unpopular hey, opinion. I do not disagree. So post-apocalyptic, I would not prefer it. I would be a boss. If I survived the first year, I would run shit. We're going to take a very brief pause. Quick break. Anal. We'll come back.